asking, uh, he's learning the bagpipes, and he Excellent. would like to know which type of dress should he wear for events. <clears throat> I think I guess it's kind of depending on the event and what he's going to and how it should be. Yeah. yeah. One of the things that I actually, um, Scott, if you are a, a, a piper doing solo gigs and you're trying to make this a side hustle, you, you want to make some actual money you know, as an extra income to do this kind of thing on the side, one of the things I suggest to pipers who come into the shop is have a couple kilts, have a couple different jackets, have a couple different pair of kilt hose, be able to customize your outfit, take different photos, and when you market yourself as a bagpiper, yeah. show different photos. If if a bridezilla comes to you and says, <laughs> hey, we are, we're doing our wedding and our colors are gray and blue, and you happen to have a gray jacket, or you happen to have a blue tweed, you can actually ask, hey, would you like me to wear my blue tweed jacket with my kilt? I can help try to tone with your wedding colors a little bit. You're going to make that person feel just a little bit more special and make you as a potential you know, salesman of your own self. Uh, you're going to stand apart from any other bagpiper. So if she's asking three bagpipers, hey, you know, can you do our wedding? And if the price is equal or similar, and you're the one guy who actually came back to her and said, would you like me to wear my blue outfit to match yours? She may go to the other guys Bam. and say, hey, do you guys have a blue tweed jacket? We have blue colors in our wedding. We want to make sure you match. And then you might get the gig where they wouldn't. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. In the fullness of time, I'm going to assume that since he's starting out, that maybe <coughs> price is a bit of an object right now to collect different types of outfits. Um, the single best go-to you could get, save up a couple of bucks and get one, would be the Piper Flex Argyle set. The, the vest and jacket, the Argyle jacket is basically just like any other Argyle jacket, except that the arm cut a little tighter, so it's easier for you to move your arms. And it has a, a uh, wool and lycra blend fabric in the back panels so that you can move your, move your muscles better when you're playing. If only they had a word for that, like maybe flex. Flex. I said Piper Flex. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so I think, is it the same price point? It's a couple bucks more. Yeah, from, from us at least. Yeah. Um, it's about, it's not too dissimilar from buying a regular Argyle set, and it is seriously a go-to. And you can use the jacket by itself, or you can use the vest by itself, um, or use them both together to really, you know, look even sharper. Yeah. So. But That's there's single simplest best investment when you're starting out, I would say. Yeah. Well, you want you want to have some versatility in the outfit so you can craft different looks. Yeah. And to your point, especially if you're just starting out, it doesn't have to be uber expensive. I mean, you don't have to get a tweed jacket and vest. You may just be able to do a tweed vest. Yeah. Um, so you're out the door, you know, 120 bucks versus you know 400. Um, yeah. But you want to have a couple different pairs of kilt hose if you're mm -hmm. playing a wedding. That is an outdoor, you know, casual type wedding. They may want something a little bit lighter, like a tweed, and a right. little bit happier, you know, lighter color kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Than if you're playing a funeral, where you should probably be in a black jacket and vest, maybe right. black hose, and a more somber, toned down sporran, as we were talking about earlier. Yep. Um, you know, it's you want to kind of suit the occasion, no pun intended, um, with how you're dressing and how you're complementing the different occasions. And I'll. I'll... Again, a little bit of a throwback to what we were talking about before. One other option I will mention, which is very budget conscious, but also good for warm weather, get a good military style shirt, also known as a pilot's shirt, long sleeve with the epaulets, with the, with the matching symmetrical military pockets, and get a solid color necktie and a tie bar or a tie tack so it doesn't move and do the military piper look. That plus your usual kilt and sporn and a Glengarry, you look very sharp and very regimental as they say, um, and that will get you by for a lot of situations also. Yeah. And over time, you will build the outfit. Exactly. Yeah. 